Hello and welcome back to the channel. Thank you for tuning in. This is the series where we take some photographs of some areas of the Norfolk Broads that are easily accessible but you might not normally see. If you're here on holiday or maybe if you live here, check these places out. Herringfleet is on the Norfolk Suffolk border. It's bounded by the River Waveney, and there are moorings for Herringfleet. However, the footpath's generally a bit awkward. It's best to moor at Summer Layton and then walk back to the windmill and the hills. There are some official walking routes, and there are links in the description. So let's get started with a photo. This bug, he was just stood on a flower, doing nothing much except waving his antenna at me. Couldn't help but shoot him. We've come down the hill a little bit. Yes, yeah, I, I know, it's Norfolk, there's a hill. More than one. Uh, and well, like, you've seen some foxgloves already. We weren't quite prepared for these. Hey, aren't they gorgeous? They're just, oh, oh wonderful. Just going up the hill there and it's, it's just <laughs> lovely. Absolutely, and of course it's teeming with bees. And uh, I've already tried to get some bees in flights uh, with uh, the beast of a lens. Uh, well, I say in flight, yeah. yeah. Gathering food, going from flower to flower. And I'm, I don't know that I've got any yet because uh, well, it's, they move quickly. But uh, I don't know. I think I'm going to stay just here for a little bit longer because, um, well, rude not to. The problem looking up into them you get too much highlights in the bokeh, bokeh, whatever it's called. Where'd that bee go? There it is. This is a good a day as any To start the rebuilding of life The roads that lay open are many When the old one's gone under the knife And I can feel the sun I'm trying to get more detailed shots of things uh, because, well, because of well that. I do have other lenses, but but getting some detail uh, in the woodland is a, a trick if you've got light streaming through and such. And I know we don't necessarily now; it's pretty pretty flat, but getting woodland shots that are how should we say not incredibly messy is awkward when you've got anything other than flat light i mean uh, yeah fog's ideal rain is good um, flat light is kind of the next best thing if you've got the sun streaming through creating hot spots and uh, and dark spots everywhere it's difficult so one of the things you can do is switch to something a little uh, longer in lens or get closer to something to get the detail in things and uh, I think this is an ideal opportunity because right up in this oak here there's a, a bit of uh, fungus well there's a lot of fungus it's just creeping up under them it's a good thing to live. wonderful round all on this tree which it's not the greatest photo but it's a nice interesting piece 
just gonna do a couple of different focal lengths here. Pop those up. They're quite interesting. They're not great photos. But as a as a study of where we are, I think it's a, it's worth seeing. Now, I'll put them up as a triptych. I think they work really well together, even though they're the same image, effectively. I'm not sure which one I like more. Let me know which one you like more. I think for me, it's the middle one. There's a nice, simple woodland shot here. It's just green ferns and a silver birch. And I know this is definitely a silver birch. And it's uh, just, just simple. And I think we might get some weather coming at us in a minute. And it's beginning to feel a bit like that. Keeping the sky out of it completely. Just in the it's in the top corner of the can you see? Today and not tomorrow there's no time to borrow today. Well something's gotta give today. <laughs> Just look at this place. The oaks are wonderful. The oaks are truly wonderful. And I think if there was a little bit of mist here, I think I could get some fantastic woodland shots. Flip you around. There, you can see some more oaks here. While you're watching us walk across this marsh why don't you take this opportunity to click on that like button and subscribe for more next week I wasn't certain that I was going to get here today because weather wasn't looking great and there's been a number of times where I thought mm, we need to start heading back because it's uh, it's a little grey in fact it's a little grey over there that the wind's blowing that way so I think we're okay for the minute I'm going to get a couple of photos of this mill and it's it's getting quite late it's quarter to eight so the sun is beginning to drop and we're getting some golden colours coming through. So it is certainly going to be worth waiting a little while. I'm probably heading that way so we can shoot that, 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 that there with a bit of golden colour in the sky over there. And uh, yeah, well, let's see what happens. Yeah, well... Uh, it's pretty um, pretty grim over there. Yeah, I'm thinking, should we make a run for it? What a joke that is. The colour, the colour is gorgeous. I don't think it's picking it up on this video camera. But, uh, oh heck, the colour, the colour. Oh, bands over there. I'm going to, I'm going to shoot a, a long exposure of the mill. We have here a get it in frame a Lee six stop filter on the front of the lens capturing just a a shot there. I don't know what this is gonna be like until I get it home. 
when I started doing this, the clouds were more distinct. And since, uh, since setting up and faffing about a bit, the clouds have become, uh, well, less distinct. Less distinct. So we've probably got bands of uh, grey here rather than um, pockets of kind of grey moving across. But it should be a nice enough photo. So uh, I hope you enjoy that one. sky behind me that's where the the wind is coming from that's where <laughs> that cloud is um, it's there's moisture in the air you, I mean you, you can see the uh, the haze over the fields whether or not it's enough to um, get us wet I don't know but it's now 20 past 8 so it is time for us to go Well, that's us done. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed our photographic walk around Herring Fleet Hills and the mill. Click the like button, subscribe, tell me what it is you like about the, uh, the video, indeed what you don't, and we'll see you next week. And um, while it's a bit black on screen, there's going to be some more videos to view coming up about now.